This is a very difficult time for many of us. Uh, we're working from home. We feel more socially isolated than ever before. Uh, we're not linking up with our colleagues and friends uh, except via email and perhaps Zoom or one of the social media sites. Uh, quite a lot of people feel, and particularly young people feel, uh, working people feel lonely. So do old people feel more at risk of ill health. So people in the workplace really need support. And for me, what's really important in this period of time is for managers to be much more socially connected with their staff. Okay, so obviously you're going to have meetings on team, uh, Microsoft team, or you're going to have meetings on Zoom or whatever. But I think what is fundamental to ensure the health and well-being of all your staff is to make sure that uh, you do one-to-one -one social contact with all of them, at least once, if not twice a week. You need to actually see them eyeball to eyeball. It's not good enough just calling or emailing people. I think you need to talk to them, look at their nonverbal forms of communication, whether they're looking a bit through facial expression and the like, a bit at risk, a bit stressed, a bit anxious and kind of work that and support them. I think that's kind of very fundamental. For the employee, there are a lot of things you can do. You take, have to take exercise once a day. It's really important to go for a long walk, come back, do it early or do it late so that there are not a lot of people around. Keep your physical distance from people. I think the other thing is your social contact is important with your family, your friends, your work colleagues, people that you, you, you uh, your clients, your supply chain, whatever, people that you work with and group members you are really close to. And another thing I think is important is try not to use email all the time as a communication vehicle. You have to use it, but be careful what you say because really in these very stressful and anxious times, people could say things in an email which can be misinterpreted and cause conflict between you. But I think what is important is be, to be more resilient. And incidentally, if you want to measure your own resilience, definitely go online to www.robertsoncooper.com and fill in free of charge the iResilience instrument. I think you'll find that really interesting. It'll give you your own profile back. To be resilient means to be socially connected, to take some exercise for yourself, uh, to uh, actually do things within the family that perhaps you haven't done. And I really say this to men. This is your opportunity to link more with your kids. Women have always been a, an instrumental part of the, of the family life. Men have been much more peripheral. And I think this is an opportunity for men to actually link in with their kids, their partner, and be a part of the family. Change your role. Good luck. Be safe, be socially connected.